DIY friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, and I'm tired. <laughs> Last week, if you guys saw the episode, I built a giant console table. It took me all week to build, and uh, I'm actually in my living room right now. I can show you this guy right here. I love it so much, uh, but I gotta admit, I'm, I'm exhausted, and I got really under the weather, so I'm kind of picking up the pieces this week, so I thought, let's have an easier week, but also, I got very inspired last week because I, as I was, you know, adding some new decor on this console table, I just loved this idea of bringing new decor into this living room. And I was looking at all this stuff and I'm like, some of it's just really tired. It's been in here for such a long time and I'm just ready for a ch like a little bit of a shakeup, especially because my style has changed a little bit too since, you know, it's original styling. So I think we need a shakeup and I think we need to go find some new antiques to put in this space. On top of that, uh, as I mentioned in the previous episode, I have been taking pottery classes and my teacher, who I guess she's a pro ceramic artist or pro pottery artist. I don't know what to call a pro pottery, like a, 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 a full-time pottery person. <laughs> And she actually sells a lot of her pieces in her store. So Jeffrey and I bought um, one of her lamps. Look how beautiful this is. I love it. It has fun little squiggles in it. It's so beautiful. We also got a second piece. Hold on, let me let me go to it. It's like this cute little lamp that sits on the console table. It's got little flowers on it and the flowers are red. It's hard to see right now, but it's so beautiful. And I love it because it doesn't have a top. So it doesn't illuminate on the TV. It's just like a nice glow at nighttime, but my goodness, it is a vibe. But the problem is, is that the this lamp is currently sitting on a stool um, and it's a stand in stool. It's not the vibe to have a red stool in here. <laughs> so I would love to find a side table for this lamp to sit on or I actually think, come on over here, I actually think it would be really cool to find some kind of table that could sit underneath this clock and then have like maybe a little bit back and then have like the lamp here. So something like a little console table, a second console table that maybe I can thrift and then make it like match this piece. So I went looking for new antique places to go to and I found out there's like literally the, a three floor antique market that's only like two hours away from me. And I'm like, I wanna go there and I wanna bring you guys with me. So let's go antique shopping today and let's see what we can find. Editor, roll the tape. place smells like antiques. <laughs> stuff but like I really want to buy some nerdy stuff right about now. size would be perfect for the console table that I'm looking for but this is just like it's not really my jam but something this size would be kind of nice search continues is so big.
Have I ever told you guys how I'm just not a person who likes signs that have sayings on it? It's just not my thing. So this kind of section brings me no joy. <laughs> These are so cute. Oh my god, I love them. There's a the pink thorn. How much time do you think we spent in here? <laughs> I'm not that funny. <laughs> or maybe I'm hilarious. Oh my. Oh. It's really hard. Not gonna lie, I kind of love these, but I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's just because it's such weird art, and I love that. This would look so cool on a mantle. Oh look, a duck lamp. Okay, this this is my section. We're getting into farmhouse territory. Lots of copper. Ooh, cute. You know your girl loves copper. <gasps> this is cute. Look at this coffee table. <gasps> cool ottoman. Excuse me? What in the wood are we doing here? Um, okay, slabs of wood that are 30% off right now <laughs> that I don't need, but do I need? Got a piece of red oak for 120. This beautiful piece of walnut for 375. Oh my god. This one's 295. Another walnut. Look at this piece of walnut. Oh. I'm gonna have to come back here. And I need to bring seven more people with me and like two more vehicles. <laughs> Whoa. Special children's matinee. These are cool. If you're looking for like an industrial vibe, oh, I kind of love that. $45 a light. That's not bad. Just trying to determine if these would look good in the garage or not, or am I just being crazy? I hate making decisions when a space isn't finished yet, so I don't think I'm going to. Look at me being responsible. Ooh, creepy light. It's like murder light. Wee, wee, wee. Michael, no. <laughs> oh my. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at that. Or how about a sconce? You're looking lovely, darling. Snatched to the waist. <laughs> You don't look so hot, dude. These are beautiful. I don't even know where I'd put these, but I think it would be perfect for the creative studio. I want to hang one off the wall. Okay, I just finished floor one of three. <laughs> I've been here for two and a half hours. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do all of this. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I gotta find the stairs. Is 
<laughs> Help me. Is it hot up here or is it just me? This is fun wallpaper. Stop it. Is that a Pikachu bag? <gasps> Love it. Creepy. <laughs> Oh my god, it turns. <laughs> this is so big. There's some really big paintings right there that I'm like. They really do have a little bit of everything here, which is kind of insane. Like, I have seen everything now. There's stuff for woodworkers, for kids, for ad adult kids. <laughs> Farmhouse modern. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh, I kind of like the little checkerboard. I mean, I hate when I do this, but I'm always like, oh, I can make that. But like, I can make that. If I really want a checkerboard, I'll just make one. But that's really annoying of me to say. Is that, am I the only one who does that? Like, do you go into stores and you're like, I'm not buying that, I can make that. And then you never make it. And then you're just like, damn, I should have just bought it. <laughs> That's cool. Is it just me or does this guy look like the Voldemort face when a like when Professor Quirrell unwrapped his head wrap and then all of a sudden he had the face on the back of his head? Is that not what we saw? <laughs> it's really creepy. <laughs> no thank you. Lots of stones. Don't blink. <laughs> this little table might not be so bad, although it's kind of round and I don't think I was looking for a round table, but this size would be perfect. Whoa, look at this pot. Whoa, bejeweled. Aye, matey. Anybody want coffee grinded? That's one heck of a fireplace mantle. <laughs> Boop. Cut. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. What are you doing? Retake. Guys, I found the light. That's the key to everything. <laughs> Look at the legs on this guy. Look at that detail. That's crazy. This is a table that might be able to work. That might work, but I don't I don't think it's perfect. I'm not like in love with it. So I think I should keep looking. Uh, excuse me, which way should I go? That was rude. <laughs> okay, my Dutch roots are definitely calling to me on this one. Cute. Oh, these are plushy. What are you? What are you? Dance along, Poopa. Off the couch and on their feet. Children love the Booba Beat. Oh, creepy. I don't like them. Dinosaurs. <laughs> Boop. up to no good. Kind of like this open side. Wow.
Okay, Danny, trying to find out what you win. You won a cherry, a banana, and an orange. Hooray! <laughs> but actually, can I get a cherry, a banana, and an orange right about now? Could use the boost of energy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what are you? Boop. Whoa, look at those knobs. That's just obnoxious. Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Wow, I really like that door. That's cute. Oh, that's beautiful. I like stuff. Oh my god. Yikes. Smashing, darling. Absolutely smashing. Miss Cafe, Miss Sugar, and Miss Tea. Is this supposed to work out your your abs? I don't understand this chair, but I like it. Oh wow. Okay, let's keep shopping. <laughs> I'm in the truck. I'm not gonna lie, that was a very overwhelming experience. Um, I'm actually shocked I bought anything <laughs> because I was just like having buyer's paralysis and just being so over inundated with so many things on so many floors that I was just like, I don't know what to do. Uh, but I, I did find a few good things. I didn't find as many things as I was hoping for. I was just waiting for things to really scream at me, like things that just said like, oh my God, I have to have that. Um, I didn't get that feeling as much as I thought I would. Uh, but you know what I'm okay with that uh, but I did find a few good pieces that I'm really excited about I do have one more little stop tomorrow that I'm gonna take you guys to um, it, this is more of a local spot uh, it's smaller with like a lot of really curated goodies so I'm excited for that but uh, I'm gonna go home because I got to drive ahead of me and I'll share what I found tomorrow I'm so excited all right see you then Very neat. Oh, 
Okay, friends, I am back. I am in my living room and I wanna show you guys what I found. I feel like this is one of like my best hauls. I have to say like there are past times where I've kind of gotten like some unique items, but like this time I tried to really think about the things that I bought and like where I would use them or, you know, just having a purpose for them. And because I was looking for specific items for the living room, I could really curate what I was hoping to buy. There was a few items that I actually ended up getting that were for future spaces, which I'll explain, but um, I'm really excited with what I got. So I hope you guys are excited to see. First piece uh, I guess we should talk about is what I'm wearing. <laughs> and this is how I styled it. <laughs> Uh, with a beautiful red lip and a nice little curl in the hair. I did mention in the past that I love to pick up flannels or plaid shirts uh, secondhand all the time. I never buy a flannel shirt brand new and uh, this is no different. I found this in one of the little you know, nooks of this giant antique mall, which by the way, did I mention that this antique mall is the largest antique mall in Canada? I did not know that until I actually met the owner while I was walking around. Largest antique mall in Canada. That's insane. If you come to Canada, if you visit Ontario, you must go to Woodstock and you have to go to this place. It was like literally a one of a kind, uh, a full blown antique shopping experience. So if you come, you're off to Woodstock and then maybe you stop at African Lion Safari on the way home, <laughs> depending on how you feel about those things. But anyways, okay, back to the plaid shirt. It is an L.L. Bean shirt and it is so cozy. I did wash this, obviously. I am wearing it now, but I did wash this. And uh, I love L.L. Bean uh, shirts. Anytime I see one in a thrift store, I pick it up. You know when it's an L.L. Bean because it's just so cozy. It's got this like, I don't know how to explain it, but the cotton in it is just, it's perfect and it never goes away. It just always stays that comfy, cozy feeling. And I love them. This is actually my third L.L. Bean uh, flannel and uh, no regrets. Congrats. Perfection. So the second item I picked up was this guy, this beautiful piece of pottery. Uh, I have to admit, since I've been taking pottery classes, I feel like I have a newfound respect for pottery pieces. Um, I just look at everything so differently now that I understand how it's made and just how how long it takes to make these darn things. But I really liked this one. I loved the shape. I loved the red. I, I love having pops of red in my living room. So when I saw this and it had this beautiful red pop on the top, I, I just said I had to have it. I really love pieces like this because I just feel like they're so versatile when it comes to decor. It can be a catch-all dish. You can put like little beads coming out of it. It can be a standalone. You can put it on books. You can put it on a coffee table, on a console table, on a shelf. Like there's just so many places where something like this will look lovely. I think it's gonna make a great piece for my home. Okay, so the next item is another pottery piece, but a little bit different. Look at this cutie. I love this for so many reasons. First of all, I really wanted to find some lighter toned uh, decor pieces. Also, this kind of color actually matches my rock wall art. There is some like tealy kind of natural greeny teal colors in there. And I thought having an item like this in my living room would be so perfect to kind of bring those colors into my living room, which definitely this color is lacking. I just really loved how organic it felt you know it's definitely not perfect it's got some little notches in it but i also love the top i love how like it just feels so imperfect kind of looks like somebody was using it as like a planter even though the opening is quite small to be a planter so i'm, I'm not really sure what it would have been used for but for me it's a perfect cute little piece of decor i absolutely adore it and i'm very excited to have this in my home moving on the next thing i'm going to talk about oh is this piece right here Boop, ba -da -da. I've been looking for a side table for the couch and I found this guy. I absolutely adore this stool. I love that it's so worn. Um, the funny part is, is that one of the legs on this has actually been replaced. So two of the legs are what I guess was the original leg on it, which has beautiful details. And then it has a third leg, which was replaced from an old furniture piece, I assume. Um, but they did a pretty good job replacing this, I have to say. I didn't actually even 
notice in the store that the leg was different until I brought it home, but what a beautiful piece. It has been painted black. Well, it looks like it's stained black because you can still see the wood grain through it, which I like. Um, it's funny, it's got some red specks on it. So I'm like, oh, that is a match made in heaven. It's also got some gold specks on the top. It's got a lot of nicks and scratches in it, but I love that. I just love when a piece feels very worn in. And I recently built my console table, which is also stained in a black. Um, and it just felt like these guys were two peas in a pod. I was just meant to have this piece. Um, and what I love even more is the height. It's a perfect height beside my couch. So when you're sitting in this seat, it's just, you can pop your drink right there and it's actually at the perfect height. So I absolutely adore it. As a side table, this is everything I wanted it to be and more. It was so meant to be, sir. I just love you so much. Okay, so the next piece isn't for my living room. However, I saw it and it, it just was one of those pieces. And I don't know if you guys can relate, but sometimes when you're just shopping, you see something that just speaks to your soul and it feels like the clouds have parted and this beautiful bright sunlight is coming down and you hear this angelic voice that's going like, ah, like that was the moment that I had when I found this guy. This beautiful glass, I think it, they, it's considered a light cover. However, um, I, you know, I don't know how or like what kind of light you put inside this, but when I saw it, I just fell in love with it. I could not think of a better thing to put in my studio. As if you watch past episodes of me talking about what I'm hoping to do in that studio, like I want it to be very bright in that space, but then, you know, de decorate it with very bright, colorful um, pops of color. And so when I saw this, it just felt like this is this was my studio space it just felt aligned with that having these beautiful orange and blue and green specks i don't know just something about it was so beautiful imagine this piece in a window with the light screaming through it and then maybe i could even put some little twinkle lights inside it and then during the day it just looks absolutely stunning just as is but then at nighttime with little twinkle lights inside it it just feels like it's going to be such a little special piece but what i did realize actually when I when I did buy it is that all the little hooks on it have little flowers like look at this little guy here they're like little flower hooks and I just think that makes it so special and you know like a piece like this you think to yourself does it serve a purpose no but does it make me super happy and it makes my soul set on fire Yes, it does. And I think these are the kind of pieces that you have to have in your studio spaces, you know, things that just make you feel creative. So that's what this does for me. And uh, I absolutely adore it. Okay, so this next item is something technically I didn't need. <laughs> But okay, it's not something for my living room. However, this was something I could not pass up because I have been on the hunt for something like this for so long. And sometimes you just, you just have in your mind these certain items that you know you want in your house. You don't know when you're gonna find it, but you keep it in the back of your mind. So every time you're shopping, you know, you just have that hope that you'll find it one day. Well, this piece is one of those things for me. I have wanted a vintage accordion light in my house for so long. This light is made for me. I I died when I saw this. I got this for $60, which is just like literally a steal. It shows no information about where it's from, but I can tell by some of the original wiring that she be old. <laughs> but I adore this. Now it does have a more modern light bulb in this. Uh, this is an Ikea light bulb. I can recognize an Ikea light bulb from anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but so I can tell this is definitely Ikea, but needless to say, um, you can tell that this thing is old. It has been around for a long time, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's gonna need to be cleaned up a little bit. Like some of the, uh, the joints are a wee bit rough, um, but you know, a little WD-40, a little clean, a little elbow grease in there. And I think she's gonna be brand new. It's like, it was meant for my house. That's how I feel. Like it just, it, even just seeing it now, like on screen with you guys, like it just 
feels like it's like a vibe that's meant to be in this living room. <laughs> I love black pieces, black decor pieces, black pops, and this is just no different. Um, while I don't think that this is something that I'm actually gonna keep in the living room, I do think this would make a great piece either in my kitchen or upstairs in one of the bedrooms, or hey, I might even put this into my studio space. Like I think this could be a really cool kind of light. Oh, this could be such a cool light in my office space. Oh. Gonna do. It does need to be rewired, but this this is an easy thing to fix. This piece should be able to turn, but the metal is a little bit bent here, so I think I'm gonna have to play around with this to see if I can actually get it to twist a little bit better. But all things said, it's in great condition. I just love it so much. <sighs> I could not be more happy. All right, then the last piece I found at this antique market was my favorite. It was also the biggest piece I found, and you can see it right there. As we know, I was searching for the perfect kind of console table to put back there that I could put my lamp on, and this dresser was absolute perfection. Yes, she is old. Yes, she is worn and torn, but oh my gosh, do I see the potential in this piece. It was the perfect height. It was the perfect width. It was the perfect depth, and it was just meant for me. I know it. <laughs> I just think that this is going to be the perfect thing to keep like all of our cards in here, our dice in there, um, a lot of board games because of the depth of the drawers I think are gonna fit perfect into this piece. So I think we're gonna turn it into kind of like a little board game console area. Obviously this color isn't the way it's going to be kept. I will be upcycling this piece, which by the way, let me know if you guys wanna see me upcycle this on camera. I haven't quite figured out my vision for this yet. I don't think it's gonna be worth stripping it back to the wood stick. This piece definitely feels like it's been around the corner a few times and I just, I don't know if it's going to be worth it bringing it back to its wood state, but I do think it's a piece that we could, you know, sand it down and repaint it. But I'm curious to know what colors you guys think I should go for. I mean, you've all seen my living room. What color do you think I should paint it? Either way, I love this piece. I think it was meant for me. Um, I got a great deal on it and uh, I love the way it looks in this little back corner with the lamp on it and and then my cuckoo clock above, some books and some nice little decor elements styled on top. I think it all just feels very balanced and just like it was meant to be there. Ah, oh, so happy. All right, so let's talk about what I found at Green Turtle Salvage. I'm obsessed with these pieces. I'm so excited. I'm gonna talk about the smallest piece first. I found this beautiful little wood bowl. I love finding pieces like this. You see these actually a lot in thrift stores and I think people look past them a lot of the times, but these are such great decor pieces and they really can be put anywhere and go anywhere. They can go on coffee tables, go on shelves, they can go on console tables. It's just really any Anywhere. but I just love the natural look. You can really just put a wood piece in any type of home and it can suit any style, especially in my living room, which is definitely a modern organic vibe. I think something like this will be perfect for this space. I think the wood grain is beautiful. Just mad respect for the artisan who made this. It's absolutely stunning. It's versatile and honestly, I just, I just really like it. I do, I just really like it. You're so lovely. So yeah, I think this was a great find and I'm really happy about this one. Okay, so the next item I found is not for my living room. However, I do think it's going to be a very functional piece in my home and that's this. And this is a receipt spike. So normally you would find these in restaurants or you know at a cashier where you know somebody would put the receipts on. Um, or some people have them in their office, but this is an old antique one. Isaac, the owner, actually had a whole bunch of different kinds uh, styled up on the the glass table in the middle of his shop. I just thought these were so cool. And then he was saying how a lot of people buy these because they're really great for either key holders or to style your jewelry on. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, what a great idea. I've actually been looking for something to hold all of my necklaces at my vanity station. So I thought this is like, so me. I love the idea of having like an antique uh, item, an unconventional item to house all of my necklaces. So I think this is absolutely perfect. If you see one in your your travels, definitely pick one of these up. I actually wish I had bought more than just one. I think having three of them styled together would be so beautiful. I'm obsessed with this. I think it was a cool idea and I'm just passing the idea on. <laughs>
The next pieces I got was styled on a shelf together and that was these pieces here. Um, they're two very different pieces, but I love the way they look together. It kind of feels like they're meant to be a pair, so I love that. I'm gonna keep them together. One of them is an old school vintage butter churner. Um, this thing look, definitely looks like it's seen some stuff. It's very dented. It's been through a lot and I absolutely adore the shape of it. Um, very cool find. And then this guy is an old, well, apparently has two purposes. Um, either it could have been a juggling pin or the, uh, a lot of people use them as like weighted or weights for working out um, and you kind of like, swing it <laughs> you don't really understand the purpose but it's so beautiful it looks like it's been put on a lathe and like all the little elements that were cut into it even up on the shaft here it's got like little detail pieces that are so stunning it actually has a little crack in it as well but i just think these were so cool i love the way that they look together and styled on a shelf i just think i love that it kind of has a story it's very unique it makes you stop and look at it and it definitely made me stop and look at it so I was like, how lovely. I like that it's wood. I love the tone of the wood and it just really felt like a piece that belonged in my living room. So I had to pick these up and I'm gonna style these together for sure. Also, I really just love how tall these pieces are. A lot of the times you find decor pieces that are, you know, are small and stubby, like things like this. Um, and getting something so tall like this is just, it doesn't happen very often, but you really want to see some balance when you're, you know, de decorating your shelves with tall things and short things and medium things. So having things like this, it just it's nice to get find something tall. <laughs> Normally I'm using candles to offset that height, but like finding decor pieces that can do that as well was like, it's a real nice treat. They're both just really fun pieces to have on your shelf. They tell a story and they're just, they're just cool. All right, so the last item I found was this guy, this beautiful giant pot. Oh my goodness, is she not beautiful or what? I I love that it has these kind of little ripple lines on the top that's so beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, this wasn't a cheap piece, but I always justify things that are a little bit more expensive with the fact that this is something that I'm gonna have in my house for the rest of my life. Like this is not something that you have and then maybe, you know, two weeks down the line, you're like, nah, I don't think I want it anymore. This is something I'm going to literally have with me for the rest of my life. It's gonna, I'm gonna take this from home to home to home or maybe I'll never move, but either way, it's, it's gonna stay stay with me for the rest of my life. So it's one of those purchases that I really don't mind making. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I love the dark color of it. Honestly, I feel like it just pulls in the dark woods in my living room. I love the organic natural vibe of it. Again, in a living room that is very modern organic style, like a piece like this just feels like it fits in so well. I've been looking for a pot like this for some time and uh, I'm just really excited that I was able to find this and be able to find it through Isaac, which now I can support Isaac through that. So that makes it feel really special too. And pots like this are very trendy right now. So obviously they're going to be a little bit higher in price, but they are just old and they are antique. And uh, when you find the right one, um, I think it's definitely worth investing in because it's just a beautiful piece. And this is something that looks so good anywhere in your home. You can put this in a kitchen, in a living room, in a bedroom, in a bathroom if you wanted to. Uh, it just, it's one of those things that just looks good anywhere you style it and I just love a versatile piece like that you know what I mean <laughs> It's definitely a one-of-a-kind beautiful piece. Well, DOA friends, that is the end of my antique shopping experience in the largest antique mall in all of Canada, plus a well-curated shop here in Ontario. <laughs> um, I loved everything I bought. This is probably one of my favorite hauls, but you guys should let me know what was your favorite item that I picked, or maybe what was your favorite item that you saw during my shopping adventures. Let me know in the comment section below, because I love to hear what you guys would have picked out from from all the things that you saw. It's all very exciting, so let me know down below. We are going to be back in the living room next week to work on a very special project, so stay tuned and make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out. This is gonna be a good one, guys, so you don't wanna miss it. And of course, sending some love to my Patreon family. If you guys are looking for a spot of DIYers to share your love of antiques, share your love of a DIY, share your love of shopping for unique pieces, or hey, you like building things, you're looking for advice, or you just wanna share your process, my Patreon is definitely the place for you. Check it out. It's linked in my description box. And of course, my friends, as always, stay positive, stay creative, and keep on the Bye-bye.